Hello my young friends, we have stepped into the month of October and this is the time when many students have either finished with their exams in the month of September or are going to take the exams post Dashera that means sometime after 15th of October, right? So the question that arises is what do you do during the 10 days of the Dashera break? In fact, some students have been asking as to how should they plan the 10 days break that they get for Dashera. Now, Dashera is really the time when you actually make a fresh beginning, isn't it so? So, this is really the time to press the reset button, especially for students who have not studied significantly or efficiently so far. And for those who have already finished with one good revision, it is time to kind of look back and say, okay, these are the chapters where I need to focus a little more and these are the chapters where I am relatively comfortable. So, you need to do and audit and ensure that you make a fresh beginning okay shift gears and ensure that you say okay this is how I'm going to spend the next 10 days of the Dashara break so this video is essentially targeted at the 10 day holiday period that you get now should you treat it as a break time now this is the time when you get to eat a lot of sweets uh, wear new clothes uh, probably even get to meet family and friends now that you know the COVID scare is a little less relatively less uh, while taking all precautions definitely and also since you have examinations coming up mid-November prepare towards that uh, don't kind of ignore the entire study material that you have kept with you uh, you may be having some mock tests end of October or your regular examinations whatever nomenclature your school decides to call it by now, I am calling it the 70-hour challenge. Now, what exactly is this 70-hour challenge? What I want each one of you to do, and I don't believe in this 9-hour, 10-hour schedule, 5 to 6 do this, 6 to 7 do this. See, no one can really regulate that kind of a study schedule for everyone. Okay, so what I am going to tell you is the, are the broad parameters and you need to tweak it accordingly. Ideally, what you should do, and this is for everyone, we are not robots, we are human beings. Our mind can only concentrate and focus at 100% level only for an X amount of time. If your mind is tuned to working for 4 hours, you cannot make it work for 8 hours because the remaining 4 hours will not be efficient enough, right? So, what I want you to do during the 10 day break, during which you can also relax, is to ensure that you have 4 sessions every day of one and a half hour each now these one and a half hours one one and a half hour could be mathematics one one and a half hours could be biology one one and a half hours could be english literature one one and a half hours could be any of your optional subjects computer applications physical education whatever or let's say a subject like hindi or any of the language subjects that you may be learning right the next day take another four subjects so one and a half hour each and you decide which are going to be the period in which your one and a half hours will be ideally it should be one and a half hours in the morning because the morning time is when you are absolutely fresh one and a half hours in the afternoon post lunch one and a half hours in the evening that 6 to 7 30 or 6 30 to 8 p.m kind of uh, time and another one and a half hours say from 9 p.m to 10 30 p.m if you are an early to bed types sleep at 10 35 so that you are fresh to go early the next morning so those should be your one and a half hours into four subjects every day. Every single day of this 10 day Dashera break. I'm talking only about this 10 day Dashera break. What is this one hour? So this takes care of your six hours. What is this one hour that I am talking about? I want you to choose a test paper the previous day and ensure that you do not see the questions beforehand because then that would kind of amount to cheating you who are you cheating you're cheating yourself in that case ensure that you have not seen any of the questions sit and take the examination like you would do during the board examination simulate the same atmosphere with a timer preferably do it as part of a test module like the ones we have on study with sudhir app so that you can test yourself and say okay i got 38 out of 40 you get the marks you know which ones you did right you know which ones you did not do right right you also see the solutions after that another point that i want you to bear in mind while you're doing this one hour is 
See, I would guess like every year the board exams take place at around 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to give the test between 11 a.m. and 12 noon, the one hour exam of 40 marks, right, for ICSE class 10 in particular. Give the examination between 11 a.m. and 12 noon because what will happen is that I want and ensure that you have showered before that and you have you had your breakfast and you are absolutely fresh, not like you are feeling hungry between 11 a.m. and 12 noon. So that your mind gets tuned to be working most efficiently between 11 a.m. and 12 noon and this is a practice that you carry to the board examinations also. See the mind needs practice, usko aadat dalni padegi, right? So ensure that you take this one hour test every day, each one of those 10 days, one hour, six plus one into 10, which is what? Seven out of 24 hours and seven into 10 days makes it 70 hour challenge. Take this 70 hour challenge in which that one hour will be fixed between 11 a.m. and 12 noon. No phone calls, no disturbance, no one coming into the room where you are taking the examination. You do it the way you will take the board examination online. Okay, that's what I want you to do. And ensure that if you are taking, for instance, a biology examination on say a Wednesday. On Tuesday, you ensure that you are revising the entire syllabus which is required for this particular test. That could even mean that instead of four subjects, you spend the entire six hours or four and a half hours out of those six hours in doing biology, right? You could tweak it accordingly, but ensure that you are well prepared for to take the test on Wednesday and ensure that you spend your Tuesday good enough, efficiently enough in order to be doing well on the when during the Wednesday examination. I hope I'm making myself clear. So test papers every day. This is non-negotiable. Ye aapko karna padega apne in your own interest, right? So uh, that's how you should be doing it. The Shera is the festival of the victory of good over evil. The evil now is what you do not know, right? The evil now is what you do not know. You need to ensure that you increase the goodness quotient, the knowledge that you put in your mind and be able to put it out on the day of your examination so that you are able to be 100% good and ensure a 40 on 40 or whatever number of marks your examination be. So this is the schedule that I want you to do, the 70 hour challenge that I want each student here on Study Visudhi to take up and ensure by the end of the 10 day Dashera vacation, you are much better than you were on day one, right? Thank you very much for watching. Do write in to let us know how you fared at the end of the 10 day vacation. Happy Deshera, happy holidays, happy studying.